In this session, let us try to consider the assumptions we are going to consider for transient stability. Okay. For example, what is the difference between steady state st stability and transient stability? Steady state stability means that like you know normal variations like you know power system conditions. Okay. Basically in power systems, load will continually vary. Continuously like you know, it will be variable only. Okay. So the moment load is continuously varying under that conditions automatically rotor dynamics will be there those rotor dynamics are very common phenomena and those rotor perturbations are going to be very small that is steady state okay now if you think of transient in transient normal like you know power system variations will be there operating conditions plus disturbance will be there so the moment disturbance is like you know disturbance is existing along with power system conditions like you know my rotor swing is going to be very short okay so the moment rotor swing is huge what are the things we are going to consider what are the things we are going to neglect okay so let me like you know before uh, entering into the concept let me tell you one thing okay so in machines in machines we are going to laminate machine core magnetic core okay so machine magnetic core lamination lamination in between lamination like you know we have to provide insulation we are going to stamp it okay so lamination iron lamination iron in between insulation so two conducting plates separated by insulation capacitance effect will be there or not right so capacitance effect will be there no are we considering that no no because those effects are very much less okay so for example in fault calculations okay so in fault calculations of course some problems may be there but under normal conditions in fault calculations like you know we don't consider load current at all why compared to load current fault current level is very high such that like you know whether load current is there or not doesn't matter much okay for example okay let me tell you this is a like you know maybe one uh, conductor maybe gold conductor okay gold conductor resistivity is going to be less so for example this is a gold bar okay so gold bar in this resistance is going to be very less for example this gold bar if i'm about to connect to a system in which all other like you know all other resistors resistance values are maybe in tens or hundreds of ohms under that condition i can model this gold bar with a short circuit okay now for example this particular resistance value is one micro ohm okay and all these like you know i'm about to connect this to a system in which all other resistances are in micro ohms under that condition what has to be considered resistance of this has to be considered for example if you increase frequency under that conditions inductance effect also will come into picture if you still increase the frequency anyway this is the conductor which has to be placed on earth only Earth is a conductor this is a conductor in between air insulation will be there conductor conductor separate by insulation so capacitance effects also will come okay now if you keep if you keep on increase the frequencies to such frequencies okay at such frequencies what will happen frequency is going to be very huge such that inductance when high frequency currents are flowing inductance and capacitance our effects are going to be completely dominating and resistance effects we neglect okay what does it mean this is going to be gold bar only one gold bar is there this particular gold bar can be modeled with a short circuit r resistance r resistance inductance r resistance inductance capacitance or maybe like you know distributed parameter model or only inductance capacitance under huge such frequency so depending upon the application our model will be there okay so if some effects are like you know not influencing the system performance much we have to neglect them okay that does not mean that like you know for example if i operate my machine okay at 50h at 50h also capacitance effects will be there but those capacitance effects will not dominate the system performance that's why we do neglect them okay forget about it now coming back to like you know what are the things we have to we are going to neglect okay what are the assumptions okay kind of saliency because under steady state conditions saliency has to be considered okay because perturbations are small for example in uh, steady state conditions if you have cylindrical rotor this is cylindrical rotor okay so if you add for this add for this like you know this torque like uh, what do you say uh, reluctance torque okay so if i add reluctance torque reluctance torque will be like this okay if i add combinedly like you know it will be positive plus positive this is zero so it has to hit this so it will be like this 
okay so this is going to be for salient pole machine now where the, what do you say p maximum is occurring this is going to p max no no where p maximum is occurring when delta less than 90 and more than 45 of course okay so at delta less than 90 you are going to get p max now in small small perturbations like you know small 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 power increments like you know we can consider the saliency okay there is a possibility but in transient like you know when the swing is high when the swing is high this small reluctance motor reluctance star will it matter much no because my surge is going to be our kind of swing is going to be high because disturbance is going to be short so conclusion is forget about saliency forget about saliency now for example if i think of damper bars okay for example my rotor is there here and inside my rotor like you know our damper bars are there for example this rotor is swinging okay if this rotor is swinging automatically my bars like you know these particular uh, what do you say damper bars also will oscillate okay for example here n pole is there n pole is there and these damper bars are swinging swinging means that with respect to this if these swing you are going to get d pi by dt or not yes voltages are not yes you will get currents are not yes you will get torque or not yes okay so for example if rotor this is the rotor upon that like you know we are having damper bars if it is oscillating like this so these oscillations will be stopped because of this damper bars okay how it is stopping and all in the detail course i will see okay for small small perturbations this particular damper bars will try to stop or try to what do you say reduce the swing but if it is for example if the swing is high if the swing is high in the sense transient condition in transient condition if the swing is high if the swing is high do we need to bother about this particular small damper torque no okay so damper bars are damper bars created torque we are not going to consider in transient stability because swing is going to be high now if you think of winding resistance okay so for example forget about here maybe in fault analysis okay in fault analysis compared to load current fault current is very high okay so very high fault current flowing through transmission line will give some copper loss or not yes so are we supposed to analyze those copper loss no no why we are not supposed to analyze those copper loss because my focus is on the magnitude of fault current my focus is on the designing the circuit breaker not to calculate efficiency there because my fault will be for a very small duration yet in that particular very small duration do we need to bother about the losses and all so in fault calculation normally we don't bother about the resistance okay similarly for my winding like you know for example if this is the what do you say uh, stator inside my stator like you know windings will be there so because of huge currents like you know windings uh, through windings definitely resistance copper loss will be there does it matter no when you compare the with the swing resistance need not be considered okay but one beautiful thing i'll tell you here okay normally of course we are going to enter into equilibrium criterion and all okay so we are going to say that if my system is stable in first swing okay so if my system like you know rotor first swing okay so from here first swing for example in the first swing if it is stable remaining swings will be reduced why it is reduced damper bars are there okay means my winding resistance will be there okay so because of all these things automatically that's why in our equal area criterion we are going to analyze the machine for only first swing okay in the first swing if my machine is stable automatically in all remaining uh, even if you consider my machine will become stable okay so next thing is let us think of speed governor okay for example just like that for example this rotor is rotating with synchronous speed on top of synchronous speed it is swinging okay for example you are also rotating at synchronous speed so if you are rotating at synchronous speed rotor is also rotating at synchronous speed and it is swinging means that you will observe only the swing okay so for example if it is here okay simple pendulum simple pendulum for example if i have variations of pendulum like this okay so what will happen for example when my sphere pendulum is here okay so when it is here what will happen for example from here speed will be there speed will become zero and it will come back and it will become zero here okay so my speed is going to be zero here okay but acceleration will be maximum because 
acceleration okay so rate will be maximum now if you see here if you see here the acceleration will be zero our acceleration torque will be zero for time okay so the acceleration torque will be zero but what about the speed speed is going to be for example pendulum is there on top of a disc which is rotating at omega s okay so for example here omega is not omega s getting my point right if it is swinging if it is swinging like in the middle it's already have some velocity okay so here speed of the rotor will not be omega s but here speed of the rotor will be omega s but accelerating torque will not be zero so that's why we say when acceleration or when swing has to be considered there are two conditions what are those like you know my speed should not be synchronous speed okay and if i say this maybe you may think that no at the extremity is like you know speed is becoming synchronous no but accelerating torque is there no so in order to consider swing equation there are two points what are those the first point is going to be the first point is going to be accelerating power should be non zero and and my velocity or speed of rotor should not be omega s should not be omega s now point here is very simple here okay so at one point for example my speed is like this rotor speed and my swing is from here to here okay my swing is from here to here means that what is my rotor speed more than omega s for example if my swing is in opposite direction rotor is rotating in the same direction but my swing is in opposite direction my speed of rotor is going to be less than omega s okay so if it is swinging in this direction more than omega s if it is swinging in this direction less than omega s for example for example you are going to have speed governor okay so speed governor for example when my rotor speed is less than synchronous speed now my like you know my governor may sense that particular speed for example in steady state what will happen the moment like you know rotor speed is less than synchronous speed my speed governor will sense it will give like you know my what do you say feedback path will give input to the controller controller can open the valve of steam or water or whatever it may be okay but what is like you know how much time it will take for example here in this case speed is less than rotor speed is less than synchronous speed for example if you consider like you know uh, our governor if governor sends and again feedback and again controller and that controller has to control mechanical thing how much time it take shush time so let us not consider speed governor at all okay so means because in our like you know swinging in our swinging speed governor will not like you know play much role okay even if it play even a small thing also it means my rotor will try to be stabilized to synchronous speed anyway like you know speed governor we are not going to consider okay now next thing is avr automatic voltage regulator okay so avr is also not considered okay because very simple our focus is swing okay and that particular thing is that to transient like you know my disturbance is huge okay so what are the conclusions here conclusions before entering into transient stability is saliency no not considered like you know damper bars no winding resistance no automatic voltage regulators no speed governor no and if you think of like you know magnetic metal saturation in saturation all those like you know we have to analyze under steady state conditions okay but you are analyzing like you know in the disturbance for example as i told you in the fault do you consider load current small small no load current and all no 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 not required because fault current is sure similarly when you think of the swing is more disturbance is more we need not bother even saturation also okay anyway in the gate exam they will not ask all this okay just at the watch the video leave it okay because no problem can be formed from this area just you know saliency is not considered resistance winding is not considered damper bars is not considered but at least in the interviews and all even they ask you like you know why uh, first swing only is going to be analyzed in equal area criterion then you have to say because of these effects of damper bars resistance and all means if i consider first swing in the first swing if it is stable next swing peak values will be less than the first swing okay so in the first swing if it is stable automatically in all the like you know swings it will become stable only okay let us start transient stability soon